Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to be looking at the reverse parking exercise also known as the parallel park. Let's start out by watching the video. Now let's watch the same video again and I'll talk you through it. You'd normally be asked by your driving instructor or driving examiner to pull up on the left before you carry out the reverse parallel park exercise. When you're ready, you'd move off as you normally would, making good effective observations and signaling if necessary. We'd pull up alongside the target vehicle and as a stepping stone and a guide, you'd line our door mirror with the front end of the target vehicle. It doesn't matter if you pass this reference. What's important is that our car is parallel with the target vehicle and the steering is straight. As you may have noticed, as we start pulling up alongside the target vehicle, we also need to signal left. Once we've stopped the car, we'd apply the handbrake and change into the reverse gear. And before moving off in reverse, we need to make good effective observations. So looking all the way around and if it's safe, we cancel the indicator, release the handbrake and very slowly start reversing. And what we're, what we're looking to do is line the back end of our car with the end of the target vehicle. Whilst reversing, we'll continue to make good effective observations and once we lined up with the end of the car, we'd steer half to the left. Whilst reversing, we'll continue to make good effective observations. And once we reach our reference, which is the back end of our car in line with the end of the target vehicle. Again, it doesn't matter if you slightly pass this point, you, you turn the steering half to the left. Now for the second reference, what we'll be looking for is the 45 degree angle now this is again it's just a stepping stone it's just a guide and what 45 degree what 45 degrees mean for one person may be slightly different so your instructor will be able to help you fine-tune that but once you get to your 45 degree angle or thereabouts you then need to take the half, the half you then need to take the steering off so we added half to the left so we're now gonna straighten the wheel and we're then going to turn half to the right. Now for this last part of the exercise, we need to develop our judgment. So there's no silver bullet and there's no fixed amount of steering that's going to help us complete this exercise. Now for this reversing exercise, we are allowed to lower the door mirror to help us judge the distance from the kerb. So we initially started out with straight wheels and when you reach that first reference, which was the back end of our car with the end of the target vehicle, we turned half to the left. We then got the 45 degree angle and took the half steering off. So we now have straight wheels and then we added half a steering to the right. So that's where we are with the steering at the moment. Now for the last part of this exercise, we need to develop our judgment. So what we're gonna do is move the car in reverse about 10 centimeters at a time. So we'll move about 10 centimeters, stop the car and review the distance from the kerb and the direction the car was moving. And if we need to make any changes, so that, that could mean increase the amount of steering or decrease the amount of steering or leave the steering as it is. Move another centimeters and review the direction and the distance once again and look at if any amendments are necessary. Now, because we'll be developing our judgment, your instructor can give you some guidance. But remember, it's important you develop your judgment. And whilst practicing, it's okay to make mistakes. 
as your judgment develops, you'd no longer need to stop every 10 centimeters and you'd be able to do it in, in one motion. But again, it's not absolutely necessary you do it in one motion. We need to complete the exercise within two car lengths from the end of the target vehicle and finish off with straight wheels. Once we've finished reversing, we need to apply the handbrake, put it into neutral, and not forget to readjust the door mirror for normal driving.